All right, what's good YouTube, it's Jay here. We are back with another card opening. Today we've got Age of Overlord and one last box of the 25th Rarity Collection. We're gonna start off with Age of Overlord today, though that's the focus of this video, and then we'll uh, hop into that really beautiful set over there. Uh, sorry about the camera shaking, hopefully that's not too annoying. All right, so this set is actually pretty good and it sells for a pretty high price. My uh, local sold this actually to me for 70 though, because I bought all the anniversary sets from him. So he decided to throw me a bone. But we're mostly looking for the, uh, I want to say those, the Bellastar or whatever. So we've got Earthbound Servant, Geo Grimlina, uh, to, to ride. I've opened one of these before. I don't know if I made a video on it though. Uh, Shino Baron, Shade Peacock, Play of the Testina, and Cube the Protector of Horus. There are the Horus cards in here too. And then a bunch of other commons. The Horus cards are actually really expensive as uh, as well. Mostly the secrets and whatnot, obviously. We've also, we're also using these blue Ultra Pro sleeves that we used in the last video. But uh, yeah, those Horus cards are pretty dang pricey themselves. So we've got Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, which I think is a Pendulum card, a Watt Tuna, how do you pronounce it? Nemleria Reptor, Master Tao the Chanter, and TG Mighty Striker. And then the other commons that we are really not too crazy about. But yeah, we're mostly looking for those really, really nice uh, secret rares that one link the SP, whatever night it's called. Forgive me, I do keep up with the game, but names are hard. Okay, we've got Pit Knight Philly, Full Armored Xyz, uh, Supreme King Dragon Lightworm. I actually only pulled one of these from the last box I owned. Uh, Pendulum Evolution and Original Sinful Spoils Snake Eyes. So the Sinful Spoil cards are what we're looking for. And then here's everything else. Let's uh, just sit this over here. I hope you guys enjoy this new camera angle, by the way. I I'm glad I got a stand for this. I think it's going to up the quality of these openings by a larger margin. I, I just think it looks nicer, honestly. Okay. Lila or Lil La Rap. Uh, what Yuki, Miracle of the Supreme King, Asset Ma Mountis. These these card arts, man. This is kind of this gives me a classic kind of feel. I love when they go for these weird monster arts. And Snake Eye Birch, and then Jen the Diamond Tiger. This is actually a good card. Card scanner and Angelica's Angelic Ring and UFO Light. But yeah, that uh that common is actually really good. On to the next pack. Now these aren't like the rarity collection, obviously less crazy stuff more uh just new things so it's not as exciting in my personal opinion transcendosaurus x raptor curse bride doll uh sinful spoils of doom Resilia. it's like the scythe in their hand Ooh, and exceed the pendulum i was shocked this is a super rare that's actually a really really nice card for the uh, pendulum decks out there coming from a guy who owns a lot of uh pendulum decks that's a that's a nice card okay on to the next Pendulum Magician specifically. Uh, Ken the Warrior Dragon. Tarai. Lil La Rap. Pit Knight Philly. And oh, this might be one of the better ones. Duamute. Blessing of Horus. Nice. Secret Rare. Cool. That's one of the better Secret Rares, I think. I could be completely wrong about that, though. But I'll have to check uh, TCG player later on. Okay, we've never pulled a Starlight either. I don't buy enough boxes to pull a Starlight, unfortunately. Uh, Pendulum Evolution, Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, Escape Goat, Watuna, and dude, I thought I saw, I thought I saw a Starlight. I was, woo, okay, Poisoner de Nouvelles, dude. I, I thought I saw a. Uh, a star foil <laughs> oh my god dude I, I like i know they don't come in the same pack as another foil but uh ah my, the way my heart just jumped man holy moly okay cursed bride doll ken the warrior dragon tricentosaurus x raptor whatever discordance of the testina and veda Kala kalar canum Okay, that's a card. That's a lot of text to read too, which I'm not gonna do right now. Good Lord, man, Yu-Gi-Oh! and its ability to make cards with 13 paragraphs worth of text, man. 
and they know we can't read. All right, so Earthbound, Wat Yuki, um, the Mantis, Nemelaria Repetitor, ooh, and Dark Hole Dragon, and then the other commons. That's a cool card, honestly. I feel like this would have really, really been fun, like back in the old days of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just something ridiculous like this. It takes a little bit more effort to summon uh, than you know most modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But I'm actually gonna sleeve this just because I think the card art is actually really cool on that. Let's move that over there. Okay, on to the next pack. We've got <clears throat> Full Armor Xyz, Stars Align Above the Shrine, Starring Knight, Play of the Tistina, and Switch Points, which looks like it's a... Oh, okay. Well, it's not that great. It doesn't really do that much. Choose one monster your opponent controls and, and uh, your monster either... Or your opponent either sends... Wait, what? Choose one monster your opponent controls. Your opponent either sends either of the following to the graveyard. The chosen monster or other monsters they control. The other monsters they control. Your opponent must be controlling three or more monsters for you to activate and resolve this effect. That would have been cool like 20 years ago. But uh, that's uh, it's a trap and the requirement's pretty hefty. Just just play Raigeki at that point. Or I guess, well, that, that's like non like destruction. It's not not it's non targeting, non destruction removal, but eh, it's not great. Sinful Spoils of Doom, Supreme King. Dude, the, the, the way these cards light up on the edges, man, I keep thinking of Sea of Starlights. But Supreme Kings, Master, Watt, Wings of Light. This is a Supreme King gate card. Nice. And then the other stuff. I gotta read some of these cards later on. We're on the last pack of the right hand side. Let's see what we got here. I think, did we pull all, all of our ultras already? I think we did. Yeah, we did. All right. Uh, Miracle of the Supreme King. This guy, Sh uh, Shino Baron Shea Peacock. Something about the way commons look nowadays. I feel like the names are harder to read for some reason. Uh, Nemalaria, Curse Bride Doll, TG All Clear. Nice. The reason I'm skipping most of the commons too is because there's really there really aren't that many interesting commons this set. Uh, I think I did a video on this opening already, and if I didn't, well, I'm sorry for lying, obviously. But uh, there aren't really too many uh, crazy commons in this. Save for like the pendulum stuff. So, you know, Supreme Kings, Pit Knights, Discordance of the Tistina, Watt Psychic Fighting Porter, and we've got Burfelmet, the Mythical King of Phantom Beasts. I feel like this should have been an ultra rare. Because the Chimera was an ultra rare. That's cool. And Alpha Summon, Origami Goddess, <laughs> and Gen the Diamond Tiger, and Red Arrows. All right. On to the next one. I think this will probably be an ultra rare pack, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Full armor Xyz. Shino Baron Shea Peacock. Asset Mountis. Wat Tuna. Sinful Spoils of Betrayal. Silvera. Rose Papillion. Sharva Sarga. Xyz Interest and Realm Energy. I feel like I'm just saying words sometimes when I read the names of these cards. That's just Yu Gi Oh, man. Just be saying stuff, you know what I mean? Just be saying stuff. All right, Transcendosaurus Extra Raptor, XR Raptor, Wat Yuki, Sinful Spoils, Ken the Warrior Dragon, and Vanquish Show G, uh, G, uh, Jao Long. I actually think this is a pretty uh, up there ultra rare, if I'm not mistaken, because the Vanquish Soul cards are popular still, sort of, kind of. Not really, but that's a, still a great card to pull. On to the next pack of Age of Overlord. I almost called it Rage of Overlord. Earthbound, Play of the Sistina, Soul of the Celestial, of the Supreme Celestial Being, Leela Rap, and Snake Eye Oak. And all the other stuff. So we've pretty much gotten all the comments at this point. We'll just uh, kind of power through these. I didn't used to like when YouTubers would skip out on comments, but I kind of sort of get it now. There's really nothing crazy in these comments, unfortunately. If ever. Um, Miracle of the Supreme King, Tarai, Stars Align Above the Shrine, Angel of Evolution, and Realm Elegy. Okay, this is for the new Veda card that we pulled earlier. And I ain't talking Gundam 00. Okay, on to the next pack. Master Tal the Enchanter. Enchantigus. Escape Goat. Starring Knight. Shino Baron and OSP Little Knight. That is the most expensive.
expensive secret rare in the entire set. That is the most valuable secret rare in the entire set. Wow. Well, there we go. We got our SP Little Knight. <laughs> I was just thinking, can we pull SP Little Knight today? That's the most valuable secret rare in the entire set, which is insane. All right. I'm, I'm happy with this. This is a well paid for box now, just by that card alone. I actually might end up selling her, honestly, because $100 secret rare is too hard to pass up. Lilo Rap, Miracle of the Supreme King, uh, Earthbounds, Sinful Spoils, and Burning Dragon. Look at the artwork on that. Like I said, man, this, this classic Yu-Gi-Oh art they're kind of doing now, it's amazing. I love it. Okay. Uh, four more, five more packs to go. Hey. Pit Night Philly. Ken. And I ain't talking about Barbie. Uh, Discordance of the Tistina. Or Discordance of the Unfocused. There we go. <laughs> uh, what, Yuki? I have to keep my hand, like, right here before my camera. So it won't freak out. We've got Nep Nephil Abyss, the uh, Og da -do Og da Doic Overlord. I can never pronounce those cards. Okay, a couple more to go. Can't believe we pulled SP Little Knight. That's nice. Okay, onward and upward. We've got Nemelaria Reptor Repetitor, Master Chat or Tau. Tarai, Starring Knights, and Divine Temple of the Snake Eyes. Is this a field spell? I didn't know they had a field spell for that. And then we're, we're literally just guaranteed super rares for these next three packs, which is the one thing I kind of don't like about modern boxes. There's no mystery. Once you get like your set number of ultra rares and secret rares, you're, you you pretty much know what you're gonna get, you know? We'll just kind of fly through these. I mean, Canopic Protector. I mean, this is, uh, what does this even do? This is for Horus cards. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else really exciting in these boxes, unfortunately, once you hit that mark. And then uh, we've got this one, Mod Psychic, Pendulum Evolution, uh, oh, Escape Goat, Cursed Bride Doll, and Seed Spitting Saplings, which I actually, if I remember correctly, that's actually a good card. One last pack of Age of Overlord, and then we're done with that box, so we'll move over to the 25th Anniversary Collection. Where things will really start getting hot. Okay, so we've got a uh, asset Mountus, play of the Testina, this guy whose name I don't want to repeat, Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, and we've got Snake Eye Ash. Okay, I mean not too shabby. I was about to say not too bad, but actually that's quite a really dang good opening. If you ever, if I ever saw one, honestly. I mean, four decent ultra rares, two great secret rares. Yeah, I'm not complaining, man. That SP Little Knight is clutch. That That's such a very expensive and very good card, actually. That's meta now. You don't need to play it, but you're kind of handicapping yourself if you don't have it. At least I think so, anyway. From what I understand how the game works right now. Okay, on to the 25th anniversary collection. All right, this is the main attraction over here is this... 25th anniversary rarity collection. We've opened a total of, uh, this will be the sixth box of this in total. This is a set released. Let's go. It's go time. That's right. We're back to all foils now. No more of those dredgic common cards. We've got an Alpha, the Master of Beasts, Numeron, and just regular secret rare, Lightning Storm, Ultra Rare, Nadir Servant, and Spellbook of Judgment. Nice. I will take that. Nice Lightning Storm, Ultra Rare. And there's the quarter century secret rare already. Tour guide. Cold talker invert is a quarter century secret rare. Okay, not the best, but I will take it. We got Dengirsu and Nightmare uh, Unicorn. Okay, that's not the greatest, but it's not, you know, it's a quarter century secret rare. What can you do, man? I, li I like that rarity a lot. Okay, so a sleeve of all this goodness once again. Really do like these cards a lot, actually. I won't sleep up too many. That's what I tell myself every video. But uh, let's go into the next one, shall we? Nightmare Unicorn. Ooh, a Platinum Secret Rare. Cherubini, Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. Sorry for the mic smack. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Triple Tactics Talent and Nibiru. Nice. Hey, that's a 
Nice set of four cards right there, excluding the Abyss Dragon, because that card's not so great. Ash Blossom. Enjoy a spring run right off the rip. Ooh, a Seeker of Simone, the Poison Wind. That looks great, actually. Alpha. Eldritch Golden Lord in a collect... In a, what is it? A Prismatic Collector's Rare. Oh, that looks great. Wow. And they evenly matched. Okay. Looking good so far. Looking really, really good, actually. Lava Golem, super rare. Ooh, Ghost Bell at Haunted Mansion, super rare. Master of Dark Law, ultra rare. Love this card. Uh, fully, or Galaxy has full armor, Photon Dragon, and Harpy's Feather Storm. Okay. On to the next one. Two minutes in, and we're almost halfway through one side. Like, let's go. Reinforcement of the army. The Fossil Dig in a beautiful, beautiful Seeker Rare. Torgat from the Underworld in Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Baron to Floor Ultra Rare and Downer Magician. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Since you guys asked so nicely, we'll go ahead and uh, put the Barons in the sleeves. We'll put the Tour Guide in the sleeve. Something's just itching in the back of my head to do this, you know? It just feels like a necessity. I just love taking care of my cards, but I care about them way too much. Okay, uh, do we need to sleeve anything else right now? I mean, we'll sleeve this collector's rare really quick. Uh, uh, we'll leave these be for now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta keep it going. And maybe open the sleeve. Oh, 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 okay. Order Citrus Seeker Air right under here. Infinite Impermanence. Nightmare Unicorn Quarter Century. That's actually nice. Wow, and it's the alt art too. Nice. And then uh, this stuff. Oh, this is a prismatic uh, ultimate rare. Nice. I'm not bending the car for the record. Just in case it looked like I did. <laughs> I wasn't bending it. But nice. I think we have almost, we have all unique uh, quarter century secret rares right now in the collection. Out of all the six boxes I've opened, what, with three per box? So far, 17 of these have been completely unique. We get the last one in this box, then we'll see. Also, hear, I hear you can pull a fourth one in here as well, so maybe. Dimensional Barrier, Lightning Storm Seeker Rare, yes. Infinite Impermanence Ultra Rare, Inspector Border, and Fairytale Luna. Wow, what a what a great pack that is. Okay. Four more on the right-hand side after this one. Master of Dark Law, Super Rare. Fallen of a Bad Seeker Rare, nice. Let's go right in the deck. Uh, Red Eyes Black, or Flare Metal Dragon. Lava Golem and Ice Dragon's Prison. Such an annoying trap card. Okay, just a few more to go on this side. Okay, did I just see a Platinum or a Quarter Century? Never mind. Ghost Trick, Cyber Angel, Benton. Uh, number 100, Neuron Dragon, Out of Extravagance, and Code Talker Inverted. Nice. Three more to go. Of the 25th Anniversary Collection, Dimension Shifter. Ooh, a Platinum uh, Secret Rare. Red Eyes Dark Flare, or Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Reinforce of the Army, Ice Barrier, and Lightning Storm. So many staple cards, and I have so many copies of these cards now, it's actually insane. Wing Dragon of Ra, Sphere Mode, the Chicken Egg. Hey, that a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon Seeker actually looks kinda nice, I won't lie. Oh, Pot of Prosperity. And Prismatic Collector's Rare. I think I have two of these now. Chaos Face. And Shadal Schism. I'll just leave that one up for sure. Hey, last pack on the right hand side of our box. Uh, Junk Speeder. Oh, Dimensional Barrier Seeker Rare. I haven't seen it look like this since it came out like six years ago in uh, Maximum Crisis, I think it was. There's that. Uh, Dimension Shifter. Ultra Rare. Ice Dragon's Prison and Ultra Rare and Inspector Porter. This looks so crisp in this rarity, man. Wow. Hey. Okay. What's that? Hey, okay, here we go. 12 more. Hopefully I can do this before my camera battery dies. And then I have to swap it out with the other one. Mech Knight, Crusadia Avramax, Master of Dark Law Secret Rare, Downer Magician, Tri Brigade Revolt, and Predator Print Dracula Stabelia. I've only gotten this in Super Rare or Ultra Rare. I haven't gotten it in any other rarity. 
So that's kind of weird how that's short printed, you know? Uh, okay. Small world. Ooh, Cherubini. And Secret Rare. I think. Yeah, Secret Rare. Uh, Ghost Trick. Uh, Angel of Mischief. Pred <laughs> well, there you go. Predator Plant, Draco Stapelia, and Pot of Desires. Nice. Well, like I said, Super Rare or Ultra Rare for that Draco Stapelia. Also, my camera battery is about to go out. Oh, no. Lone Fire Blossom. Lone Fire Blossom. And Secret Rare. Artifact Lancia, Chidal Schism, and Ecclesia. Okay, part three, clap, three, two, one, or four, whatever part. All right, if the camera angle looks a little weird, I just had to take it off of my mount and remount it really quick, so hopefully it doesn't look too weird. Okay. Ooh, first change of heart of this box. Oh, a pris or a quarter century secret rare forbidden droplets look at that wow it's like i'm holding gold hold on let me put that down ancient fairy dragon mech knight crusader evermax and i restored soul wow okay really gentle with that one <laughs> wow that's a beautiful card onward and upward triple tactics talent to start off this next pack hot of extravagance secret rare Cyber Angel Benton, Dogmatica Punishment, and Deco Tucker. Ito Sol. Okay. Compulsory Evacuation Device. And that makes 18 unique quarter century secret rares out of the six boxes I've opened. Egyptian God Slime. Red Preparation of Rights. Ancient Fairy Dragon and the Prismatic Collector's Rare. Nice. And Ghost Bell. I think I have all copies of Ancient Fairy minus her uh, Collector's Rare, or Quarter Century Secret Rare. I keep calling it Collector's Rare, man. Okay. Simon, the Poison Wind. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, Secret Rare. Time Thief Redoer in Prismatic, Ultimate Rare. Nice. Nibiru in Ultra Rare, and Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon again. Cool, I'm gonna sleeve this Redoer. Beautiful. Okay, onward and upward. It's only been going up from here. Striker Dragon. Very nice. Super rare. Uh, Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Virtuous in... This is a Platinum Secret Rare. Look at that. Damn, I love her artwork so much. Time Thief Redoer Ultra Rare. Ooh, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring Ultra Rare. And Call by the Grave. We've seen so few Call by the Graves, actually. There's two ashes from this box also. Just pointing that out. Yeah, we've seen very, very, very few numbers of call by the graves, which is actually kind of wild. Uh, three more to go count in this one. Okay, we're almost done. If I can get this open. <laughs> All right, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Infinite Impermanence, Secret Rare. Let's go. Uh, Elder Entity Natis. Ooh, Fawn of a Baz, Ultimate Rare. And Vision Hero Forest. I almost threw the card in the trash can. Wow. I'm actually kind of faded for that. I almost threw the whole card in the trash can. Nice. Another Secret Rare Infinite Impermanence. Didn't we get one earlier? We got a Super Rare. I thought we pulled a Secret Rare earlier. Did we not? Maybe I'm tripping. I thought we pulled a Secret Rare um, Impermanence earlier, but whatever. On to the next one. Elder Entity Natis. Summon Limit Secret. That might be our first Secret Summon Limit. Chaos Face Prismatic Collector's Rare. Selene Ultra Rare. And Age of Fairy Dragon. Nice. We'll just open the last one. I'll sleeve all this stuff later. Okay. A number 100 Numeron Dragon Super Rare. A Alpha Secret Rare. I've seen this card so many times now. Spellbook of Judgment. Galaxy Eyes, Afterglow Dragon, Ultra, and Nightmare Unicorn. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Insane pulls once again. More money cards, more just overall beautiful cards to add to the collection. Once this binder is full of everything, I will do a full video on uh, what I have so far. I don't plan on trying to get every single quarter century secret right now. It's just a little out of budget. 
especially after everything I've just spent on all these boxes and stuff. We're gonna, gonna take a little step back for a couple of days on uh, spending, or a couple of weeks actually, on spending on Yu-Gi-Oh products. <laughs> just because I've been going a little hard and I don't want to go, uh, well, you know, bankrupt in the process. But we did get a quarter century secret rare forbidden droplet, which looks amazing and it'll pair nice with our quarter century secret rare infinite impermanence that we got in the last opening. And then we also got a Nightmare Unicorn and Code Talker Inverted, which is a little mid. And we also got SP Little Knight, which is amazing. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Sub to the channel for more gaming content, guys. And as always, this is Jay the Gamer. I'll see you later. Peace.